honesty, truthful. So a lot of people become Muslim just by the way Muslims conduct themselves with, with, with others. Even here or anywhere, anywhere you can see when, I know a story when a, a brother right here in New Jersey, he used to live in, in, in Union County. He has a, a older man live across the street, 84 years old. His kids used to go help him out, shovel the snow, uh, give him food when he needs. He wasn't a Muslim. At the end, you know, he asked the person, like, what, what kind of religion do you have? He told him Muslim. He said, okay, you know, after a year or so, later on, he said, well, how can you become a Muslim? He said, well, all you have to come to the magic, declare your shahada, and inshallah, you become Muslim. So at age 84, he went to the magic and declared you know, he took his shahada and he said, Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Do you think that came by coincidence? No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes that person love Islam the way his neighbor was conducted. So when you have a neighbor next to you, set a good example. Help him if you can. He's an older or older gentleman or a woman. Help her out. Try to reach out for her. You know, if you don't see her for a few days, knock on the house and see if she's okay. Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, set up a good example for us too. When he was helping a lady back on, on the Mecca times, and he was carrying the merchant, trying to help her to the house. She wasn't a believer, she wasn't a Muslim. So as she was walking with him, and she told him, listen, there's a guy here spreading some kind of religion. Just be careful. He, he tried, you know, not the religion we, we practice. There was Jahiliya back then, anyway. So, and he kept listening to her all the way down till he reached her house, and he helped her with the merchant inside. And after she said, Thank you. Uh, so just be careful, young man, don't follow him. He's, you know, he's a, a magician and all that good, bad character she gave him. And after he finished, he said, do you know who this? And she said, no. He said, I'm Muhammad, I'm the brother, I'm the one who you're talking about. And she said, hold on a second, okay, is that the character you have, or that's the, you know, he said, yeah, as you see, I don't, you know, I don't know, you know, know you, and you don't even know me. And she, she said, let me declare my shahada right now. She said, ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. That's the best example for us. That's the one we have to follow. That's, you know, and even the Rasulullah, they ask him, man al mufis who is the broken person? He said, who comes? Yawm al Qiyamah, the day of judgment, without good characters. You live in this earth, and we gave you Quran, we gave you the Constitution, we gave you the GBS to get to Jannah, and you still have not reached Jannah? It's surprising, really. If, if, you, if you are going to school, and the teacher gave you a take home exam, gave you the answer, gave you the exam by itself, two weeks later come in, and you still fail in the test. That's a shame. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us how to get to Jannah. He gave us the Quran. He gave us the Sunnah. He gave us how to get to Jannah. And Yawm al Qiyam, we come in, uh, we shortcoming in the Salah. We shortcoming in the trustworthy. We have spoke against other brothers. We have not helped enough people to become Muslim, or we have not helped enough people that just Muslim, help your own, you know? So that's the one who really come broke at the Yawm al Qiyam, the one who got everything to reach Jannah, and he does not utilize none of these tools to get to uh, Jannah. Uh, in Sahih al-Bukhari, in uh, Sir al-Nabawiyya, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam <coughs> said, khiyarukum ahsanukum akhlaqam. The best of you, the best who have characters. We are as individual, as Muslims, we are a, a Muslim, a sister, or a brother, we have to carry ourselves as such. Whether we are in the street, we are in, in, in the store, in a restaurant, in a shop. Once you carry yourself like this, you set a good example. Because you are the ambassador, the ambassador of your religion. If I'm here behind the counter, or if you behind the counter, or you walk on the street, with all different uh, things does not match as a character of Muslim, people can have a, 
you're going to have a, a bad example for Muslim. If you have a weakness, let's say, you know, some of the brother or is very small. If Allah hide, it, hide your code, just go home and do whatever you have to do. Don't expose your, don't expose your weakness. We all have weakness as a human being. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us how to hide it and work on it. May Allah, you know, cure us from all these uh, bad habits, whoever have it, and uh, just, if Allah cover you, cover yourself. Don't expose yourself. Do not sit down and say, well, back in the days, I used to do this and such. No. Do not even mention that, because inshallah, you're not going to go back to that days. Look for a future. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure you from these sickness or disease, whatever we have. Do not look back to it. Do not even be proud of it. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you and he cover you from all these calamity and Allah gave you Islam now. Conduct yourself as Muslim. Practice as Muslim. Talk as Muslim. Like I see something like when you like even the word of person, it should not come out of your mouth because you are Muslim. When you say that people have gonna have a bad idea or a bad reflection about is that Islam the way they do? <coughs> when they say Qulukul Quran there is no cursing word in the whole Quran. So when Rasulullah sallallahu Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa has the character of the Quran, we should have some of that character on us to carry on and conduct ourselves with it. So let's, inshallah, let's take a short break and uh, we'll come back to it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As we continue the topic, inshallah, about the Muslim characters and uh, how to carry ourselves as a good individual and positive individual in the society by helping others and uh, giving the right advice uh, to others, whether they are Muslim or non Muslim. It's an obligation on you to say the truth and say the speak on, 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 on the character of Islam. So, like I said, the worst thing is to be bragging about bad things you have it or you did in your life. Always brag about good things so you be a good example for others to carry on. And you have to be a good role model, whether it's in your house, what's on the street, what's in your job, whatever, you be, whatever you're going to be at. Set a good example. Be honest. Talk nice. Uh, leave the foul language out of the way. And speak the truth. And if you see somebody nice, always give them dawah. We are shortcoming with dawah. We have a lot of brothers and sisters out there, very good brothers. All they need, some dawah in Islam. Just to give him some, some booklets or just speak with him on that regard. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask us, that person was good. Why didn't you give him dawah? Why didn't you give him a pamphlet about Islam? And he comes at the day of judgment. He will catch you in your next show. I'm good. Why didn't you tell me about Islam? So please try to give dawah as much as you can. Set a good character for, for us as Muslim. So this way, everybody, when he look at you, you act like Muslim, you talk like Muslim, you dress like Muslim, because, you know, people judge judge the character from outside sometimes, even though you might be nice inside and you might be a beautiful person, but speak religion, talk Islam, behave as Muslim, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ordered us to do, because he is the most person we look up to, he is our Qudwa, he is <coughs> our role models, and he has set the example before us when he had advice and he helped and he sat down, he was humble with everybody, talked to them, give them advice, talk to them, talk to their level. When he used to sit down in a meeting and he sees some one of the Sahaba come, he used to stand up out of respect just to, to shake hands with him. 
He did not say I'm a prophet, I have my prestige and all that. So we learn a lot of things, how to be down to earth, how to be humble with the others, how to put us as a, as a, as a Quran characters in us, you know. And also we have to be generous also. Like if, if the masjid here need help, we have to give some help. We're not going to ask the people on the street. They have nothing to do with the masjid. We are the one who comes here. Give as much as you can. So this way, we help the masjid keep going. You know, we have minimum payment in the masjid. But alhamdulillah, we always need something. The lights to keep on, the water to keep on, the heat. So please, we don't want to be asking other people to come give the sadaqah to the masjid. We, the owner of it, set the example. Whenever you give a dar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you a lot more than that. So always be generous and give the masjid as much as you can. So this way we keep, uh, inshallah, the door of the masjid open and we self-sufficient and it depends on us also, inshallah. So I call you kawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa inshallah iqamah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Ladhina An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر
الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Testing, testing. Assalamu alaikum. As always, I give all that you can for your sadaqah and your zakat. Um, we do are calling for people to get more involved in the masjid. We do have a Zoom meeting on Wednesdays at 7. If you'd like to join that Zoom, see me, Brother Musa. I'll send you that link so you can join us on Zoom. We have a very important event coming up on December 23rd at 7 to 9, right here at Masjid Al Hadi. And it says, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Our Prophet Muhammad said, Whoever marries has achieved one half of one's religion. Come out and meet your mate. That's uh, December 23rd, right here at Masjid Al Hadi. Welcome to the Nika Workshop Social Event. And the sister going to be there, Sister Khalida Akbar. And Imam Rahman is going to speak to Imam Latif. So come on out for that day. We have our giveaway, food giveaway, December 17th on Bond and Jackson. Please come and join us on it. Assalamu alaikum. Listen, I'm going to do a door for me. My brother passed away. Right now? Yeah, my brother passed away yesterday. I'm going to do the door. Assalamu alaikum. Let's say it through uh, Brother Wally's brother passed away. Let's say it through us. He's a Muslim. Brother Wally's brother. Your brother's name is Jihad. Jihad is his name. Fatiha. Amen, Lalita. Inshallah, his brother is our brother. You got to understand that. So Allah called back to one of our brothers. Another song went home for Allah for our child. We all family. And all of us are going to make that transition sooner or later. So this prayer we're offering for Wali's brother. Wali's brother is our family. Our 